All right, I'm really excited to show you guys this. I was looking online and there wasn't really any guides to point people in the right direction, so I thought I'd make this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up OBS, get streaming, even how to record your gameplays. And I'll show you another option that I started using that's way better for recording, allows you to stream on Linux. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Anyways, let's get straight into this guide. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open your Discover Store. Then you wanna search up OBS. And as you can see here, OBS Studio. Click this little install button. Once you have that installed, open up OBS from the start menu. Now yours is gonna look a lot more basic, but let me show you how to set this up. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is set your stream destination. You can do Twitch, YouTube, anything you want really. And I'll show you guys how to get multiple outputs, TikTok, and vertical streaming later. But for this, you're just gonna to wanna to set it as usually Twitch. And then if you multi-stream, you can set up your YouTubes with the multi-streaming add-on. Next is going to output. I want you guys to switch this from simple to advanced. Go down, leave it at libfdkaac for the audio encoder. Stay on x264. And then do not touch this rescale output here. Just leave this alone, this will cause performance issues. Now down here, you're gonna wanna choose CBR. You can also choose VBR, which will be a variable bitrate. And this will allow it to change if your connection is not as good or if not as much is happening on screen. It'll lower that bitrate for you and save some of your data. But honestly, when you're streaming, you wanna be consistent. You want your, your quality to look good. So we're gonna stick with CBR here. Now on Twitch, the maximum bitrate you can use is 6,000. YouTube allows you to go higher, but you can also change that in the multiple output settings I'll show you guys later. So let's stick to a 6,000 max. But if you guys do have slow internet, take a internet speed test. I'll show you guys how to do it right now. Look up speed test. Run the speed test. Now the number you're looking for here is the upload speed. Your upload speed determines what bitrate you can stream at. So 22 megabytes upload for me would be about 22,000 bitrate maximum that I could use at one time. So knowing that I could have three streams at 6,000 bitrate, but it wouldn't leave a lot of upload for gaming. So if I am playing an online game, I'd probably lag or have some other issues. So just keep that in mind. You wanna have enough bitrate for your stream, and then you wanna have enough bandwidth left for your game. So just make sure you keep that in mind. You don't wanna go over your limit. You can leave use custom buffer size unchecked, and make sure, do not forget this part. Put the keyframe interval to two seconds. If you leave this on auto, it could end up going to crazy levels and your stream will be unwatchable. So the stream can only catch up to each keyframe. So if you leave it to auto and the stream decides it wants a keyframe every eight seconds, whenever the stream gets interrupted, it'll take eight seconds until the person can now see the next stream frame. So just make sure you leave this at two. Next, we have our CPU usage preset. This you could mess around with, but the Steam Deck is not too powerful and very fast has been very consistent for me. So I'd recommend sticking to that. Now for profile, after doing a little bit of research, I figured out high was the best. Baseline has like no features, main has some features, and high has all the encoding and compression features. So just go ahead and use that. Now for tune, you wanna go ahead and use film. This gives you the most balanced encode compared to a lot of other things. If you really want, you can use zero latency or fast decode to either go for the fastest encode, which will be a little sloppy, or a little bit lower latency to be more interactive with your stream. Now moving on to audio, this is pretty important. Now for me, my setup is using a capture card to record my main PC and stream off my main PC, but I will explain to you guys how you should be setting this up. So on desktop audio, you would use the co-processor speakers, this ACP one. This is gonna be the default speaker for the Steam Deck. If you're using headphones, you're gonna to wanna to use your headphones as this one. So whatever your headphone device is, now mic or auxiliary audio, obviously your mic. So go in here, choose your mic. If you're doing a capture card, this is where you're gonna choose input for your capture card audio. All right, let's move on to video. So here, you're gonna wanna set your base canvas. Now, if you're not using an external desktop like me, you're gonna wanna leave it at 1280 by 800. It's not available for me because I'm using an, an external monitor, but it will be for you. If not, and you are using an, an external monitor, just go ahead and choose your native resolution. And then now, this is where you can change and scale your resolution down for your stream. Do not use it in the other area as it'll mess up your performance. So go in here, if you wanna get some better performance, I'd recommend 1280 by 720. I really wouldn't go any lower than that, and I'd try adjusting your bit rate before that. And down here, you have your FPS. Again, I'd recommend 60 if you can support it. Go down to 30 if you're having some issues as that can help smooth some things out. So now we're basically done setting up the networking for OBS. 
Now I'm going to show you guys how to get multi-streaming and vertical streaming for OBS. I'll have these sites linked down in the description. But first, we're just going to look at the ADAM multi-streaming add-on. All right, we're going to click the second link. Go to download. And now you're going to want to copy this. Again, it'll be in the description already for you guys. And then open terminal. All right, so after you open terminal, just paste it in. Select system. And since I already have it installed, it's just gonna skip it for me. But once you do that, it'll install, and that's all you need to do. Now we're gonna move over real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get the vertical streaming add-on, if you'd like that. Now it's gonna be the same exact operation. Copy it over. Open up your terminal. Paste it in. System. Why? And it looks like we actually updated it today. So now that you have all those done, close and open up OBS again. So now when you open up OBS, you're gonna have this multi-stream app and the sexy guy in the corner. So now you have your vertical and your desktop layout. And the way you set these up is a little odd. You're gonna have your vertical sources. Oh, I'm messing things up. But you get a different vertical sources category. So here's where you're gonna to wanna to place all your stuff. As you can see, I can unlock all this and move it around and that's all controlled on this screen and it's separate. So yeah, you can mess around with that. If you guys uh, want me to make a video about how to, how to set some of this stuff up, I can. But it's pretty self-explanatory and most OBS tutorials can teach you. This is more about just setting it up and getting it working. So now once you have that set up, you wanna come into this multi-stream add-on, open up this little button, go to your main canvas, and now we're basically gonna be copying the settings we chose earlier into these. So 60 original, CBR, 6,000 or whatever you could handle. Two, very fast, high in film. And then we're also gonna come over to the vertical canvas. Do the same thing. You guys could also choose this um, vertical encoder and over here, main encoder. And this way it'll choose your default options and it, it'll just be the same exact thing we set up earlier. But I am a weirdo and I do like to do everything specifically so I know that it's for sure set up right. And audio settings don't really matter. Like I said, do libftk. I forgot I changed that to the other one earlier. Libftk just gives you a little bit higher quality at lower bit rates, um, but the FM MPEG is pretty good as well. And if you don't have an output already, just click this button, add output right here. And you can select what service you wanna use. And then this will allow you to add your stream key and link it and have it all set up and then just press create output and it'll give you a screen like this and if you want to change where your stream's going just click this output settings and then here you go you can change your stream key right here all right now i'm going to show you guys how you can actually set up the multi-stream so you have a vertical stream which is on shorts their horizontal stream which will just be in a regular youtube format so you want to go to create go live head to manage and then schedule the stream I'm gonna use some random settings here. Schedule your stream. And then here you wanna to go to your select stream key, create new stream key. And then just give it a name, let's just say shorts. Leave it at RTMP and then create. And then now you take this stream key you get and you wanna go into your app here. Let's show you, this is the, the vertical one. So we go here and we would just paste it in this area right here. And then that would link whenever we press this go live in the vertical canvas to go live on this specific stream. And a lot of times you will need to come in here and set up this stream before you start streaming. It's just kind of an issue with YouTube and how YouTube works. But for Twitch, you won't have to do anything. Just press go live and you'll be live. And then I can show you guys the same thing for doing your horizontal one. You wanna come here, create new stream key. Just name it Hori. And then boom. So then you'll have both of these up at once and you'll assign each of your, your canvases to these streams. And then you'll have both streams going at once. They'll both be separate. You'll have your live stream, you'll have your short stream and you'll have your horizontal stream. Oh, we're back boys. All right, so I'm gonna do a simple guide on how you can use capture cards. So you can for say, Make this a streaming PC. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your little capture card. I have the HD60X right here. And I'm gonna make this real simple for you guys. So place your capture card right there. 
you take the USB-C you got provided and you're gonna wanna put that into your Steam Deck. I've got a dock set up, but simply plug it into the dock. Make sure that you do have a USB 3.0 dock or this will not work specifically with the HD60X. I'm sure some other capture cards will work fine with USB 2.0, but just keep that in mind. And then you take your input HDMI and then route that to your streaming PC, PS5, Xbox One, Switch, whatever you wanna do. And that's gonna link it to the Steam Deck and now it's gonna be available as a input device. So you're gonna to wanna to add a source, go to Video Capture Device V4L2. This is the native version. It has less latency and just works better for Linux if you're using the Steam Deck. Name it whatever you want. We're gonna name it HD60PP. And then now you're gonna see whatever your capture card as a device in here. So mine is the HD60X. So it just appears there. Set your resolution, set your frame rate, and then press OK. And then you'll be capturing whatever you have connected on your Steam Deck. Now to get audio, you're gonna to wanna to go to settings, audio, mic slash auxiliary audio, and then select whatever your capture card is inside here. There can be a lot of issues with latency and lag, especially if you have a webcam that you'll notice. And it does feel pretty random, and I do blame the capture card uh, instead of Linux or the Steam Deck itself. But if you're having issues with latency, you can add another source, audio input capture, and then select your capture card as a device as well. Okay. And then now, as you can see, it's also recording the input from my capture card. I have my mic set up on my main PC and that's, that's how this is working. Pretty sweet setup actually. And if you guys want to add a game, you just come down to add source, window capture. You can also do display capture to capture your entire screen. I'll just show you guys, for example, the window capture. Just plop that in, select the window, Chrome. All right, boom. And then now we have Chrome showing. That's, that's the basic gist of it. I hope I was able to help you guys today. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something today, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to learn. If you guys want a more updated guide, maybe I'll go more in depth. Just let me know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace.